I think we're moving the ball better. I think guys like Stefan Pettigrew, now he's driving. He's passing the ball a little bit better. We're going inside to Jeremy. He's passing the ball a little bit better. AJ, AJ reading defense. Um, Sergio is back in the, in the fold. Now he's a guy that you can pull and kick to and make a shot. You know, that's another factor. Um, and then guys are coming off the bench and playing their role. I thought Cliff Dixon was terrific tonight. You know, after struggling maybe the last couple of games, his energy, his attitude on the bench, he was terrific. And, um, you know, you can't underestimate just a few minutes here and there by, by a guy coming off the bench if they're valuable minutes. They allow a guy to get a rest. And then on the defensive end in the last game against Troy, Cliff really struggled. Um, and he wasn't bad at all today. He really brought it defensively. I think for the second game back, I think he showed improvement. Um, you know, you don't have to ever have to worry about Serge being aggressive um, or shooting, for that matter. He had a couple late. He probably could have held up a little bit, but he. You want to keep that aggressiveness that he has because he can make baskets and he can make plays. He missed a couple open ones that he doesn't usually miss. He's getting his timing back. He's getting his win back. As he starts to understand, can't score 10 and give up 12. You know, that mentality has got to be there. Uh, so he, he did make strides from the first game, though. Um, and always happy that he's bringing that energy and that offensive threat to the team. He said in here that he felt like mentally he still thinks about the injury like you said, he continues to be aggressive. Is there one thing about him that maybe wires him to not be passive or not be, you know, to maintain that same type of energy when he, when he comes back from an injury that guys can hesitate? I, I think, you know, I, I think he's trusted the doctors and the trainers to tell him, you know, his foot's stronger than it was before. And I asked the doctor that, you know, once you have a pin put in and it heals fully, is there a truth that it's stronger? And he believes in the doctors. He understands. I think there's always a little bit of soreness and some kinks to get out. But um, he's never struggled with confidence, and I want him confident because he does give us another scoring option. And he gives you a guy that go rebound the ball uh, on the offensive end, gets you some extra baskets. He's not quite there rebounding the ball. A couple times he could have went, but that's, I think, a little bit of a fatigue factor. I think he's uh, just going to continue to get better from this, this point on. Serge uh, said uh, more than points or rebounds. He felt like the team missed his spirit. Is that something you also see as well? You'll have to ask Serge. No, I'm just kidding. He, um, I think so. I, I really do. I, I think there was a, I think there really was a sigh when he went down, you know, right before the Louisville game. And um, I'm telling you, no one, no one's more confident than Serge and no one messes up more with than Serge, but he makes up for it with his energy. You know, he, he really does. He just has something about him. He's able to put a play behind him and get it back on the other end, whether it be offensively or defensively. And, and, and everybody, I think, appreciates that about him on this team. And he's a great kid. He just keeps coming. You know, he's always smiling. You can't, you can't keep him down for long. And I think that the, the team understands that as well. He brings that to the team. He's, He's really got a great attitude about him. And um, you know he's always going to come and want to do the right things. And once again, the coaching staff knows that. I think his team knows that. Overall, is this uh, pretty much as good as you guys have played over the last few months, maybe I, the I, season? I think, it's, I think it's right there. I think it's right there. I look back to some, you know, the Vanderbilt game, and obviously we're really locked in defensively in the Mississippi State game. But this is right up there. And I think the, the crowd, the energy we got from the crowd tonight was a big factor. Uh, I think those guys were great coming in and being excited about it. And I think it's an entertaining game. I mean, we went after them defensively. They were a good offensive unit. I think the crowd can appreciate that. And I think um, as we started to build some momentum on the defensive end, our offense was re very aggressive. Well, I think it's, it's one game. But there was a focal point and an effort mentally and physically. We committed to coming out and playing hard for each other the last week or so. And we're seeing the progress. And I told the guys after the game, doesn't it feel good? And every one of them was, was very excited about that. Jim McDaniels came in and talked to the team before the game. I said, Jim, what does it mean to be a Hilltop playing this uniform? Tell these guys what it's about. And to hear him talk about the pride um, that he had every time he put the uniform on. He said he cried. He said he cried the first day he put it on. He said he cried the last day he put it on. 
Uh, he talked about defense. He talked about hustle plays. He talked about giving the fans something to be excited about, um, playing together, all the things we've been talking about. It was really good for them to hear it from another voice. And I think they really appreciated him coming in and talking to them, uh, as well as the coaching staff appreciated that. So a um, lot, of, lot of things in terms of a statement. I think it shows us where we can be and what we can become uh, if we keep that attitude. You know, that same energy for 40 minutes, we can, we can play with anybody.